In Topic 7, we'll talk about the emotional development of infants. At birth, there are just two emotions, contentment and distress. Specific reactions to movement, sudden noise, a stranger, or separation from a caregiver emerge around nine months, but tend to subside after two years. During the second year, infants become self-aware and develop a sense of connection between their feelings and themselves. They express emotions like pride, embarrassment, and guilt. We'll learn how brain maturation affects the development of all emotions. And we'll look at the importance of context in the timing, frequency, and intensity of emotions. We'll see that from birth, people have different temperaments, but these may change as the child matures. We'll discuss four theories explaining the origin of emotions. Psychoanalytic theory holds that a mother's response to her child, weaning them too early, for instance, has a huge influence on the child's later behavior. Behaviorism stresses the reinforcement or punishment of behavior as the main influence on emotional development. Cognitive theory, on the other hand, holds that belief and perception is what guides our personality. Lastly, sociocultural theory believes culture is the determining factor for emotions being either supported or suppressed. Finally, we'll look at the formation of social bonds. Synchrony, the matching of emotion between child and caregiver, begins within the first months. Attachment quickly follows, the affectionate tie that binds a child to a caregiver over time. Secure attachment allows for optimal learning, whereas insecure attachment fosters caution and fear. And we'll explore how consistency and quality of care positively impacts later development. Let's look now at all the early influences that help form one of the most elemental aspects of human beings our personalities.